All roads lead to Boston, but for one runner, that road is 104 miles. He won't be on the course marathon Monday, but next weekend he plans to run the famous route four times. WBZ's Paul Burton explains how a man's addiction and recovery put him on a marathon journey. Anybody that runs is a runner. Maybe I'm a little bit extreme. For every small step Henry Ward takes, it reminds him of just how far he's come and the stranger he may help just down the road. Well, ultimately, you're saving someone's life. Saving someone's life, that's huge. Ward is an ultra runner, which means he runs very far for very long periods of time. That would be anybody that runs more than the traditional 26.2 miles of a traditional marathon distance. And how much are you going to be running? Uh, 104 miles. That's four marathons. Four marathons consecutively. The 46-year-old is also a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. That I was powerless. Everything, every part of my life, every aspect of my life was suffering. Having hit rock bottom, Ward entered into a treatment center in Arizona, and that opened the door to a second chance of life. Ward is now nine years sober, happily married with a son, and is now training to run 104 miles along the Boston Marathon route. I'm going to start at the, the finish line and go to the start line in Hopkinton, turn around, go to the finish line, Turn around, go to the start line, and then ultimately go to the, uh, the finish line for the last time. On Saturday, Ward will run the iconic Boston Marathon route back to back four times to help raise money for RunWell, an organization that raises money to help fund addiction treatment for those who can't afford it. 100% of the funds go to getting people treatment that not necessarily can afford it, um, and we also focus on getting them into, into running. Ward says he will be supported along the run with family and friends. His goal is to raise more than $10,000. I think about people that I'm possibly helping. I don't even know who they are. I might never know the impact. But he knows what it's like to be in their shoes. I honestly believe that. If I can change my life, anybody can. In Waltham, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.